You know, it's a, it's a great question to try to figure out how do we create alignment within the organization? And, and oftentimes the leaders will, will struggle with communicating the message because in their minds, in their itty bitty negative committee, they're thinking, I've got, I've got to know everything I need to do every single step of the way on this journey for the next five years. And it, I will often explain to them and I'll, I'll shoot them articles and, and I will give them different source material to talk about leaders throughout the course of history who realize there's no way you're going to know every problem that's going to come up. You don't know every issue that you're going to face. And there's no way to forecast changes within the, the landscape of business, within the, the, the changes in landscape of things like COVID, changes in landscape regarding regulations with government, things like that. So it, it's important to, in order to get people aligned, that you let them know that this is the direction we're going to go. And we're going to go over there and we're going to go over there in this way. And I, and I use this example of, of people who want to go on vacation. You know, if you want to go from Michigan to Texas, how many ways can you get there? Well, you could fly, you could take a train, you could take a bus, you could drive your own car, you could walk, you could skateboard, you, you could do a lot of different ways to get from one point, from point A to point B. It, and on that journey, you're going to learn so much. So I always tell my leaders, make sure you explain to your staff that we're going to go from A to B. And the journey may shift and change. We're going to learn different things. And it's all about creating that intention, not the expectation of where you want to go. The intention that you want to grow your business, but not be wrapped up that the only way you're going to grow your business is through a, with plan one or plan two. Be open-minded. Delve into more of a creative mindset. And if you practice that and you model that and you show that to your teams on a consistent basis, they won't be surprised when you come in and say, hey, we're going to go after this new market segment. And here's why I think it's valuable. We've done our research. We see this as a really untapped sector. You know, we did that with Diversified. Um, you know, our company, Diversified Industrial Staffing, was a, a temporary help general labor provider. We pivoted into the skilled trades, CNC, highly skilled talent niche over the course of time by trying a lot of different things. But it was all under the intentional thought process of where is that increased demand and that diminished supply? And if I can close that delta, Find a way to exploit that. I can charge more, get paid faster, and make more money, and in my case, get out of debt. It, it, I did not tell the staff at the time that we're going to only go after one sector. We tried a bunch of different things, a lot of A-B testing, so to speak. And as the leader, we want to let people know, hey, we're going to go on this area. We've done some testing. We're going to do some more testing. And let them know that the, the, the iterative process of intention, not expectation, is going to be littered with Good ideas and bad ideas, things that work and things that don't work. But what you want to create in that process of growing and scaling your company and leading them in a direction is a, the mindset of psychological safety so that people know that they can try different things, that they can pivot one way one day, pivot the other way the next day based upon what they learned the previous day and grow the business, grow their role, grow their organization, grow their teams, and not just be wrapped up in the fixed mindset thought process of there's only one way to do this and we're going to continue to go down this path come hell or high water, even though we're getting back data from the marketplace saying what we're doing doesn't work, what we're doing isn't needed. And, you know, it's, it's going back to the restaurant space. It, it'd be like saying, hey, I'm going to open another restaurant and another Italian restaurant in my town where I've already got seven Italian restaurants. Well, how many, you know, you, your restaurateur, you're a great chef, you can make other food other than Italian food. What is the marketplace clamoring for? Oh, well, are they claiming for Mexican food? Are they clamoring for Mediterranean? What else can you give the marketplace? Because it's about what the marketplace needs, not what the entrepreneur's ego needs. So there's a lot of different ways to pass that message on to the team. There's a lot of different ways to communicate it, but it is a matter of intention, not expectation, constant communication, allowing the team to fail forward with the information they've gleaned and to be able to push them to what ultimately the marketplace needs and what's going to satisfy the, the entrepreneurial needs of the organization.